channel. We are so happy that uh, you're tuning in. We're so happy with the uh, subscribers coming through. Thank you so much for um, for your support, the support of our content on this channel. So we thought uh, while we got your attention at this time, it would be a good thing to pay homage to our, our Polynesian roots, our uh, Islander ancestry, and today we're going to make luau which is uh, Orusami, uh, another name for it, and we're going to do it four different ways. We're going to go out, get some ingredients, and we'll be back. Let's do it! ingredients and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with what we got um, to our local viewers if you've got um, any suggestions on where we could um, where we could source our our leaves from these taro leaves are looking pretty sad I don't know if it's locked down but we, we only go to one place but if anyone can recommend where we can get out um, our caro leaves That'll be excellent. But anyway, here's our ingredients. We've got our taro leaves, um, onions, coconut cream, two tops of coconut cream. Um, th these are just left in our cupboard, these two. We just bought this one. This was two bucks. Excellent, excellent parts for caro coconut cream. We've got a piece of pork shoulder here. Got some mussels. All right, when they open like this, just check them. See that? If it doesn't close up, it's dead. Throw it out. But yeah, you know, these are New Zealand green lip mussels. This. This is uh, lamb fat. Pieces of lamb fat I'm gonna chop up. And um, like like I said in my previous video, it's more or less the pork belly. Well, the belly of the uh, the lamb. And it's tender. It's got nice. Streaks of uh, fat, you know, fat equals flavor. Going through the uh, meat, and that's our ingredients. I'm just gonna uh, prep it now, and then we'll show you how we wrap it. Cool. Okay, I thought I'd show you guys how the um, how how I prep these um, taro leaves. So you have your leaf like this. You gotta remove the stalk. Uh, there's a chemical in it that um, if it's not cooked properly, it will, it will leave your, um, when you eat it, you'll get this itchy feeling in your, in your throat. You gotta get rid of it. Or well, I've seen the Hawaiians um, peel it and chop it up and put it in their lao lao, but um, we don't really use the stalk in our ones. So you have the arrow pointing away from you. You pinch, finger and thumb, and you're kind of just waiting for a crack. You're not really cutting off the knife. Just wait for it to tear off. And there you go. Yep. Okay, do it slowly. That's it. Give it a wash. And that'll be good for wrapping.
um, shelled mussels before. Uh, 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 I'll show you a quick way. Uh, this, this is the way I was taught. So, just pull it up, and then your knife, there's a little space that it fits through. It goes all the way through, and there's, when, once you get to a point, you'll feel something get cut, and yeah, now you can just um, pull it open. And whatever membrane is still attached, you just kind of slide it off. And that's it. Did you use a maybe sharper more pointy knife? Eh? Uh, yeah, you can use a sharper pointy knife. That'll be easier. But um, I'm pretty clumsy, so um, I kind of tear it up when I use a sharper knife for this. So that's why I use a butter knife. Yeah, I'm back guys, sorry, I had to change my shirt. But um, I've prepped all these meats, and uh, if you just like to take a look, this is our lamb flap ribs that I've, I've cut, and I'll cut, cut them small, so they'll um, cook and be nice and tender in time of the uh, luau leaves, because I've, I've had it before, luau leaves nice and tender, and this is really still a bit tough. So I'll cut them small, took the bone out, Got our mussels here, ready to go. And this is some pork for, look, I, I'm making lao lao, uh, the way I remember it. And the way I remember it, it was one hunk of pork wrapped in, 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 in the leaf, and that was it. But I, I'm so, I don't know if I'll, I'll get the pork tender enough, so I've cut it up just in case. So nice and tender when it comes up, you know, for sure. So that's our meat's prep. Okay, I've chopped the onions and uh, diced them, and I've mixed them with the three cans of um, coconut cream that we had earlier. Now I'm just going to salt to taste. It's up to you how much salt you put in. And um, I'm going to go less. Because I've over salted so many dishes in my life that uh, I don't want to do it to this one. This is coconut cream and onion, eh? Yep, coconut cream, onion, and salt. That's it. Okay, we're going to make a vessel out of these uh, leaves here. This is the uh, classic one. This is your baseline. Uh, baseline, well, you can use these rip ones on the inside. Make the vessel, try and catch these uh, coconut cream when it comes in. Filling I'm putting in is um, well. I, I, I want to make my version of lao lao. When I tasted it, it was just pork and um, and the leaves. There was no coconut cream in it. But I've looked on YouTube and did my study before um, making this, and there was uh, what is it, butterfish or something like that. Um, I don't remember tasting that. I, I remember my cousins. It was just pork and um, and the taro leaves. So I want to stick with that. But um, this is how you make. This, uh, this particular one, you put salt in between each individual leaf. There's no seasoning, yeah? My cousins are uh, introduced me to this. And they got Hawaiian salt. There's a sweeter um, taste to it. 
to, to, um, to how they make this soap. Yeah, I thought I could make their soap at home, but no, it's actually crystallized in, um, in Hawaii. It's their own local soap, and um, holy heck, was it delicious when I first tasted this with the cousins. Yeah, so it's up to the pork in here and the fat caps on it. Mix with the um, taro leaves and that's it. But you can always put extras in, I mean. You can, man, you can customize your own, but um, I'm doing it how, how I remember the taste. Nice cuts of pork and, um, and taro leaves. What kind of um, extras could you add into it? Any kind of fish. Fish and chilies? Yeah. Chili, yeah. You add in chili. I wanted to add chili. Oh man, I love spice, but um, my kids will be tasting some of these for the first time. Like the um, the lamb one. Uh, my stepdad, who's Tolan, introduced us to um, Lucipi. So um, every time I eat that, it reminds me of him and uh, and my Tongan cousins, you know? Um, yeah, that's why I love Blue Sippy. I love Lao Lao and the plain ones from Samoa. Luau, Palusami. Palusami. That's, that's, uh, I think that's the way we used to season our Luau. I saw some docker. Palu means mix. Sami is the seawater. So coconut cream, seawater, and the taro leaves. That's, and chucked in the umu. That is the classic baseline um, luau. Okay, this next one I'm gonna do is my little experiment. I've never had this with mussels before, but I was inspired by uh, Meals with Mills, one of our brilliant um, poly tube cooks. I'm gonna leave a link uh, to her channel in the, in the description box. Ah, and uh, yeah, look, how you wrap it, it's up to you. It gets cooked either way. You can do it this way, flip it over, once it's in the foil and in the oven, cooking, easy. <laughs> so that's what that's how we're gonna do it today. Just can't wait to taste this one. When I saw this, I was like, man, that's gonna be delish. New Zealand, green lip mussels, best mussels in the world. <laughs> Just kidding. No, this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, fresh from uh, Coromandel to the fish shop that we go to. But who knows, probably, <laughs> probably down the creek with all the uh, shopping trolleys and um, <laughs> spare tires. Nah, nah, nah. They it. smell awesome. Okay. <laughs> mm -mm. Ready? Oh, they hit it. Fresh ash. Okay, we're going on with some coconut cream. And that is us. Boom, boom, boom. I can't wait for this one. Okay, our luau's are ready to go into the oven. So, cooking times will vary, but everything cooked, man, I'll, I'll go for about two and a half hours to three hours. You know, just to make sure that uh, everything's nice and tender, and if there is any kind of itchiness in it, um, those cuddle leaves, it's gone and just deliciousness left over. Okay, I've got all my luau's in the oven over a tray of water to help steam it and keep the uh, keep it moist. Okay, these are our sides we're having um, with our luau. Some green banana and some manioke or cassava. Okay, I've brought up the plain luau's without any meat in them. So they should be ready by now, and I've left the other ones in. Let's cook a little bit longer. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a muscle one. Should put like tags on them, eh? Yeah, I should have. 
so I can smell the seafood one. Oh my gosh, look at that beauty. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. The mussels. And juicy as well. That's gonna be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> fantastic foxy. <laughs> <laughs> Still a bit hot. Ooh. What's this present number three? Yeah. Let's find out. Open up the Hershey's kiss. What do we have here? Feel that it's meat. Let's go in. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. And what's that? This is Lupulu. Oh, yo. Reflection. Look at that. Tender. That was the gentlest of push. Watch this. This is a butter knife. Cutting through butter. <laughs> that is tender ass. That's gonna be delish. This is it. This is the moment. Yeah. This smells like it. I can't smell any coconut cream on this. Yeah, that's it. Lao Lao. Salted pork. That's it, man. Basic ingredient, massive flavor. Have to try that. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. Eat time, everyone. Okay, we're finally organized and we've set ourselves down. Wow, well, blessed our food and we're about to get into it. So, this is how we've set it up. We've got the plain ones over there. That's um, the ones I remember from Samoa. Coming in the Umu packs back in the, the 90s. Uh, this is our uh, little CP. So my stepdad's Tongan, and this reminds me of uh, his family, who are now my cousins. This is for my Tongan cousins out there. Uh, that's a pork, eh? And this is uh, Lao Lao. Oh, that's a pork. Yeah. So there's no coconut cream in this one, it's just a pork and, um, and the old leaves. And this was the experiment. Like I said, inspired by Mills of Mills. This is Mussels. And I had just had a taste of it earlier and I can see why she put chili in it. Maybe a little kick will kick it up a notch, but it's absolutely delish. I'll, like I said, the link will be in the description. And here's our sides. All right, guys, let's dig in. What are you guys gonna do? Uh, lamb. Which yeah. one's chicken again? Slam. <laughs> Chicken's not on the menu. No yeah. chicken today. So that's lamb, that's the plain, and that's pork. This is the plain? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Just what you think. Right. Oh man. This muscle one. Is this lamb? Mm. It's mm -hmm. really soft. So it's tender. Mm. Mm. Which ones do you prefer? Have you tried the plain one? This one? Plain one? Uh, that one. Are you sure you're having some? Mm. It's your eyes. <laughs> Oh, baby. Would you open one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Move the plate closer to you if you want to try. Sir, so, you're not eating. Huh. Hi. <laughs> Man. Okay, I'll try some. Yeah, I know. There's uh, a bit of water. That's the best way to eat it, eh? Mm. With your hands. Mm. Does it need more salt? Yeah, maybe a little. 
Yeah. What do you reckon, Tosh? Lamb's the best. Lamb? Mm. Yeah. Lamb's the best. Hey, what's your soft. favorite, Tadna? The plain one. It's like a kakabwa. Blue sippy manioke. Mom, why don't you add bloopers? Add what? Why don't you add bloopers at the end of the video? We've never had bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's an idea. Okay, mm -hmm. just a plain one, vegan friendly. Okay. We have just finished demolishing um, the luau's that we opened and surprisingly we got full fast. This stuff is very filling as you can see by the, uh, what do you call it? It's a tornado. The aftermath <laughs> of a tornado, yeah? It's empty and fishing through his fruit everywhere. Uh, five left. So what you can do with them, throw them in the freezer and bring them out whenever you feel like you are again. So yeah, it's no waste and uh, absolutely delicious. Here's our koko that we made. Piping hot, so good to have after a heavy meal like that. So yeah, um, at the end when it was uh, boiled through, we uh, added sugar to it. Sugar to taste, just to counterbalance the bitterness of the uh, koko. But some people like it sweet like candy, um, like almost like uh, <laughs> But yeah, I don't, I don't even like drink it. it that sweet. <laughs> Swear, far out. Yeah, I, I, I don't like it that sweet. Uh, makes me makes me angry. <laughs> nah, it, it does. I also don't drink it. But yeah, just sugar to taste, and that's it, coco. And on that, we'll say thank you for watching our video. Thank you to all our subscribers for coming through and um, the comments and questions and you know pro tips or my pro tips uh, thank you for such thoughtful feedback and um and supporting our channel so us to you to far from the toffers